Hello, this video is going to be um, a short video about D2L. So the very first thing that you need to do is go to the Inver Hills website and click on Current Students and then click this link that says D2L Brightspace Login and then you'll enter in your star ID and your password and click Login. So once you've logged in, if the course that um, you're taking isn't listed here, then the way that you would get it in this list is to click on this little icon right here to select a course. And so all of your courses should be listed here. And if it's filled in, if this little pin is filled in, then you should see it over on this page. If it's not filled in, then you won't see it. And to get it to show up over here, you would just click on that pin and, so that the pin is filled in. If you want to remove something um, from your main area when you first log in, you can click that pin and then it won't be there anymore. So, so that's how you would um, either, so if I click this pin right here, then see that course disappeared. And then if I click it again, the course will reappear. So that's how you pin or unpin courses from the area when you first log into D2L. So now I'm going to go into um, a current um, online course of mine so that we can look around in there. This is what it will look like when you first log in. You will have a different picture and of course the name of the course will be different. Um, but other than that you should see a very similar screen here. And so every week um, you will get an announcement that will come up. We're currently in week six of uh, my summer online intermediate algebra course. And so every week um, you'll see everything that you um, need to complete will be listed here and the blue words are links to those documents or this is a week a link to the discussion post this is a link to the week six worksheet for them and then um, I provide some answers um, not all answers but there are some answers there for the worksheet as well and then the area or the link to um, the assignment area where um, they need to turn in their um, week six worksheet. And then also a link to um, a website called My Math Lab. They call it My Stat Lab for statistics, um, depending on what course you're taking. So um, you would click on this, and that's where um, you would be taking quizzes and doing some practice homework. Um, so that's about the announcement area. The first week, um, the announcement will be, will have things, of course, pertinent to the first week of the course. So, so most of the things that you'll need, you can get right from this main page when you first log in. Um, but there are some other useful things here as well that you should know about. So if you ever want to get back to this screen, you would just click on the course name up top. If you want to go back to all of your courses, you would click on this Inver Hills um, area here. And there are some quick links here, which are really nice. So if you have any academic support needs, you can go to the library website, the Learning Center, the Math Center, Peer Tutoring, Writing Center, a um, bunch of links there. Also, a bunch of student service links are here. Um, so those are really useful to know about. So let's go back into the course. And... Um, so content will be a really important area for you to be familiar with. That's where you'll find all of the course documents. Um, so here I have week one, week two, week three, week four. The other possibility is that I could have these um, done by the chapter. So, um, so that may be slightly different in the course that you're taking. But you would just click on whatever you wanted to go to, and you would find um, everything that you need there. So there's a checklist available lecture notes and videos for you to use to learn the material with. And then here's a discussion post link. And then here's the worksheet for the week. And there are a few answers um, available. And so that document is there as well. And this is a link directly to the assignment area where you would submit your scanned and completed worksheet. And then this is a link to my math lab where you would take a weekly or chapter quiz, whichever um, one you might have for your course. So that's a little bit about the content area. And again, um, along this side here, you can click on whatever week you need. 
In the course orientation area, you will find all of the really important documents that you need to read before the course begins. So I will send a letter to your house if you registered. By the time I send the letter out, um, this Read Me First document that contains what you might expect in the course. There's a questionnaire. I'll have one for statistics as well um, to see if this course online is the correct choice for you. The syllabus will be located here. A link to this video, a link to an introduction video to my math lab or my stat lab, whichever one you're using. They're the same site, so it'll be the same video. Um, and some instructions on how to get registered for this my math lab website. And then the weekly schedule is there as well. So you do have to click on week one. Um, and all of those documents are repeated here, along with the weekly schedule and all of the videos that you need to watch for the week and the lecture notes. So it's the lecture notes first and then the video link is below it. The link to your discussion post for the week, the worksheet, some um, there isn't any answers in this course for the week one worksheet. I don't provide all of the answers for worksheets, but I do provide some. And then this is a link again to where you would turn in your worksheet and then the link to where you would take your quiz. So that's all in the content area. The other area that you'll be using every week is the discussion area. And so each week you'll be required to either ask a question or post an answer to another student's question. Um, if you don't have any questions yourself, it's a great time for you to answer someone else's. The first week is a getting to know you post. I do have some suggested questions for you to answer. If you're struggling on what to write, feel free to um, not answer these. These are not required. Um, they're just some suggested things you can talk about to introduce yourself. The rest of the, and you can post questions if you have questions about week one material in here as well. Just make sure that you do the getting to know you post. And then every week you'll um, ask a question or, like I said, answer another student question. The next area is the assignments area. So this is where you would be submitting um, your worksheets. Um, if you're in an algebra class, if you're in statistics, then you would also be turning in your labs in this area as well. So you would just click on um, whatever week it is that you Then um, there should be a link here for you to um, upload a document. Um, so go ahead and do that. I haven't been able to figure out in this new look and feel how to log in um, as a student versus a teacher and so you're seeing my view on how to edit um, one of these things so um, so anyways there should be a link for you to um, upload a document in here um, so all of these links are for me to um, edit things so if you have questions about that let me know um, there will be some links for you in the links area. So there is a back door to my math lab or my stat lab if for whatever reason you're having problems logging into that site. If you click on this, there's a link um, that will get you into another login area that um, oftentimes will work if the other link isn't working. There's a link to YouTube. There's great videos on YouTube. Um, Sometimes it's helpful to hear how to do something for more than one person. So finding another video to help explain something that you're not understanding is a great um, way to learn the material. Also, Khan Academy has a lot of really great videos that you can watch. Math TV has a lot of great things on it. Um, and then Wolfram Alpha is a site that um, you can do all kinds of math stuff on. So that link is there as well. And you won't need this checklist link. I don't have any checklists. I have paper checklists for you to look at. Here there is a syllabus quiz that's due the first week, so you'll need to click on that and then start the quiz again. I'm logged in as a teacher, so um, my view looks different than yours because um, I'm in edit mode. So, um, But there will be a link for you to start that quiz. So you can take this quiz three times. Um, 
in order to get a 10 on it. And then also the grades area, which I'm not going to click on because um, this is a current course, but you can click on the grades and you will be able to see um, all of your grades in that area. So, so that's all about D2L. Um, let me know if you have any questions about that, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks.